the show's today. I thought it was tomorrow. Right, okay. Wait, you want two guests as well? All right, leave it to me. I'm on my way. Oh, hey, Henry. Oh, yeah, you want me now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Down, I'll come down. Hey, Henry, you want me now? OK. Just about made it in time, eh? Yes, oh, we made God. it in time, yes. We're here, we're here. We are here. Hello, my name is Henry Johnson and welcome to the kickoff. Tonight we've got a great show for you and we've got two great guests. First, a lean, mean American football machine. Unfortunately, that guy cancelled. So here's Rory, <laughs> the American football soft boy from DMU Falcons, who are Division 2A champions. Nice to have you on the show, Rory. How are you feeling? I'm feeling very confident, thank you, Henry. Good, good. Joining us on Rory's opposing team is someone who thought it was a good idea to break the ankle before the show. How selfish, Hosn. Here's Will from DMU Cycling. How are you feeling, Will? Uh, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to win the day, even with a broken leg. Even with a broken ankle. Oh, oh by the way, here's Will's substitute stunt double, Will 2.0, who will be doing Will's active rounds because of his broken ankle. Nice to have you on the show, Will and Will 2.0. Hopefully, they're ready to compete for fame, glory and this wonderful trophy right here. They'll be answering questions about sports on our buzz around and also some active challenges with a bit of a twist. So stay tuned. Will they be able to keep up? Or will the hangover from last night's social get to them and ruin the studio floor? Hopefully not. But we'll see how things go. What a show it's going to be. Are you guys ready to play? I'm ready to Let's play. Let's go. Let's do the buzz around. Great, so I'm going to ask five questions, and if you think you know the answers, press the buzzers as fast as you can. Are you guys ready? I'm ready. Right, let's Sweet, go. let's go with question one. Which DMU <laughs> Sports first team, before Varsity started, beat Coventry University by 20 points to 12? Was it A, netball, B, tennis, C, rugby, or D, squash? Oh, I think that was a buzz from Will. Was it rugby? It was rugby indeed, that is Yay. the correct answer. Now, question two. Which DMU sport team, when it's varsity time, has won their varsity against the University of Leicester for four years in a row? Is it A, taekwondo, B, basketball, C, equestrian, or D, cricket? Oh, I think that was a buzz from Rory first. Is it equestrian? Equestrian is the right answer, so it's one all yeah. at the moment. Question three. So. Varsity is currently going on at yeah. DMU. And my next question is, as of yesterday, who currently is leading Varsity? Is it either A, De Montford, or B, University of Leicester? Oh, I think Rory got there again first. It's the University of Leicester. Yeah, unfortunately, University of Leicester are beating us again in Varsity. So, yeah. sport is a very big thing here at DMU. How many sports teams do you think DMU has as a university? Is it A, 29, B, 40, C, 33, or D, 25. Oh, Will got on there with the buzzer. 29. Yeah, 29, that is the yeah, correct. Yeah. You guys are smashing these questions so got far. It. That's crazy. So, which, the last question, mm. which two sports at DMU recently had their best season ever from both winning their leagues and qualifying for regionals? Is it A, American football and lacrosse, B, rowing and taekwondo, C, a question in American football, or D, a question in archery? Oh, I think Rory got there first. I've got to say, it's American football and a question. That is the correct ah. answer. So you've won that round. Three, Brilliant. two to Rory. How did you find that, guys? Easy or hard? Oh, well. He has more knowledge than I expected. Oh, <laughs> oh that's you know. coming from a winner as well. <laughs> anyway, that's the easy part done, the warm-up, if you will. And because this is a sports show, we thought that we would get you guys doing some activities. But because Will isn't very good at his sport, and managed to break his ankle and somehow a little bit of his leg as well last week, we've had to draft in a stunt double, a Will 2.0. So, Rory and Will 2.0, let's head over to our in-studio gym for the sporting round.
Now, our first active challenge is going to be really good and off the chain. If you don't already know what we're talking about, here's Will 1.0 before he broke his leg from DMU Cycling to explain what you're going to be doing. My name's Will and I'm the mountain bike captain. Uh, you, need, you need your fitness uh, because the runs are like, they could be up to four minutes long and it's essentially just a four minute long squat. You're just constantly squatting uh, and you're pedaling as well. So you've got to have that fitness to be able to last the whole of the track. I'm a downhill mountain biker. When you get to sort of a professional level, the quality of your bike is absolutely essential. You won't see uh, a, a pro riding anything less than like a nine gram bike. So. That's the kind of level it's at. So obviously you're on two wheels, so if you stop, you're gonna fall over, but uh, on mountain biking, when you're in like tight technical sections, at slow speeds over rough terrain, balance is essential, yeah. Uh, just keep your head up and look forward. Good luck to my opponent in the studio. So, you've heard it from Will 1.0, the expert. Now it's time to try it. And since Will is the expert, only Rory will be taking part in the challenge. So, Will 2.0, you can take a rest. And as we can't ride a bike in the studio, we have a static spinning bike that you'll use with an egg and a spoon. And you'll need to balance that in your mouth. You're not allowed any hands, and you'll get a point if you can balance it for the duration of the activity. Are you ready, Rory? I am ready. I'll give Sweet. it my best go. Cool, so three, two, one, let's kick off. Oh, now that, that egg's already start, started off with a bit of a wobble. But look at that action from his neck, keeping that. Very smooth. Very nice, yeah. That has got a bit of a wobble on that, that egg, though. It's going from left to right quite, quite quickly. But that's good cycling action. No hands. He's doing everything correctly. We've got seven seconds left on the clock. And five, four, three, two, one. That's it. Stop the challenge. Very well done there. He's mastered the art of balancing an egg. And it looks like you're good at riding things after all, Rory. Um, you definitely don't take off to somebody that I know. Now, anyway, on to the American Football Challenge. This is a big, tough sport where big, tough men wear protective baby armour so they don't get boobies and scratches. Let's check out this. I'm Rory Kester. I'm the health and safety, and I play tight end. Um, what are the rules of uh, American football? Well, basically, all you need to do is you need to get the ball into the end zone to score. You get six points for getting the ball into there, but you can run it in, you can throw it in, and then once the ball is in the end zone, you can either kick for an extra point, or you can run the ball into the end zone again for an additional two points. Well, we do a lot of agility work. We do a lot of ladder drills. So basically, it'll be footwork in and out of ladders. We do a lot of sort of running around, basically anything that makes you faster on your feet, which means that you can avoid tackles. If you're going to start off doing ladders, go as slow as you can. Make sure your footwork is right, then just get it nice and fluid, speed it up gradually, and it will just go together well. Good luck to my opponent in the uh, studio doing his ladder challenge. See you later. Now, it's for Will's. Well, Will 2.0's solo session. Uh, you're used to having solo sessions, <laughs> aren't you, Will? Um, but like before, you're going to have an egg and a spoon in your mouth, and you're going to be doing it on the floor ladder. You'll get a point if you can complete the two runs on the ladder. Now, are you ready, Will 2.0? Yeah? Well, let's see you in the position to start. And three, two, one, let's kick off. Now, there's good action there. She's keeping the spoon very... Oh, she slipped on the ladder. That was almost a disaster. She's keeping the... the it looks like the egg's almost glued onto that spoon there. What, what do you guys think she's of that? She's doing very well. That is extremely... Oh, I said it too early. Oh, well. she's dropped the <laughs> spoon. Down. That's going to affect your score there, Will. <laughs> um, can she do it again? Can she do one more? Can she do one more? We don't know whether she can or not. Now, she's put the broken egg facing down, which might give her a bit of an advantage, but we don't know. She's got six seconds left on the clock. Five, Keep four, going. three, two, one, and that's the end of... Oh, you, oh. you completely smashed the egg at the end of that <laughs> challenge, but unfortunately, you dropped it. So that's really not going to help out with your score there at not all. Not at all. But anyway, let's move on to the next sport. It's archery, and Nathan from the club gave us some tips and tricks for first-timers that really hit the bullseye. Hi, I'm Nathan, and today I'm going to show you how to shoot like a pro. So I shoot a compound bow, which has a few little interesting things compared to what you'll see behind us. 
They're all recurves, so they're nice long limbs that flex, whereas mine has cams at the top, makes it a bit more fancy to shoot with. Being a compound, you don't hold it like most people with your fingers on the string. You have what we call a release aid. That goes on the string, and then when you want to shoot, you click it, and it lets go for you. Similar to most of the bows behind us here, it is a knocking point on the string, so there's two little marks. There's a knock on the back of the arrow that clips on the back, and then you just have it on a rest, and you aim, and off you go. So as you might be able to see in the background, there's different faces across the uh, bosses at the end. Generally, they go gold, red, blue, black, and white. And within each color ring, there's two divisions, and it goes from 10 points down to one, and then a miss. Gold in the middle being the best score you can get. Tip for first time people is find a local club, go to a have a day, and see what coaching they can give you, and be sure to listen to them. You don't want to be hitting anything you don't need to. Uh, good luck to everyone in the studio, and have fun. Now, those are some professional looking bows, but I think there's been no expense spared with this bad boy we've got for you today. Now, we don't have 60 arrows like they fire in the competitions, so you're going to get two each. It's going to be the same point system as described. First, we'll have Rory, then we'll have Will. Now, are you guys, are you ready for this one? I'm ready. Sweet. Well, three, two, one, let's kick off. Now, the aim of this is to actually get the arrows stuck on the board. So you didn't do that one, you hit a nine. So that was pretty good, but the aim of it is to get it stuck. If you get it stuck, the points will count. Ooh, you got it stuck on Ooh. a six. So let's swap over to Will for his go. Stuck Beat on a six, it. that's Beat pretty it. good. It. He's got it stuck, it properly stuck there, but hopefully we can fix the arrow before go. Will's go. <laughs> nice one. Now, Will, if you can get it stuck like Rory did, you'll be in contention. Oh, he's got it stuck on a nine. Oh, nine. <laughs> nice, well, let's go for your second shot. We've got some time left. So if you can get this stuck again, you'll really smash Rory with the points here. So just take your time, aim it up. You've got another nine another there. Nine. You've I'll absolutely that. smashed that. So two nines from Will, one six from Rory, and well, you've you've done well there. <laughs> you've done well there. So thank you very much. Will, Devastating. Uh, you've won that challenge, yeah. and Rory, that is really not going to help you out on the scoreboard. Anyway, this next sport will require all of your strength to get through. Harsh tackles, terrible weather and an egg-shaped ball. Of course, it's rugby. Hi, I'm Rachel Gresty, and I'm here to tell you a little bit about my sport, rugby. Yeah, so rugby is a full contact game where you use an egg-shaped ball to try and put it down over the other team's try line, and then you get the opportunity to score a conversion, which requires you putting the ball on a kicking tee and kicking it over the post. For a try, it's five points. If then after the try you score the conversion, it's an extra two. You can also drop kick it, which is three, or a penalty is also three points. A game lasts two halves of 40 minutes, so 80 minutes in total. I, I played flanker in my last match, but I play second row and front row, which means I'm a utility forward. Uh, definitely just get involved. You're only going to get hurt if you don't full, fully commit to the tackle. So if you do commit to a tackle, go for it. They're gonna get hurt a lot more than you are. Hit them hard with the shoulder, ram into them, and don't stop your feet. Good luck to you guys in the studio. Try some tackling and shoving. So, you've seen how the girls get down and you've been given some tips on how to tackle. It's time to try it in the studio. You'll both have a tackle pad. Uh, well, in this case, we'll have one. And the objective is to push each other out of the rope circle. Are you guys ready? You good with the rules? Yeah. All good? Sweet. Well then, three, two, one, let's kick off. Come on, 2.0. Come on, come on, 2.0, you've got this. Oh, she's got some strength. She's just, well, <laughs> obviously not enough strength. You're not doing very well here. Come on, give it a bit more. Get Rory's easily drive. standing his ground here. Get, get a bit lower, get a bit lower. What do you thinking? What do you think, Will? Yeah, get low and drive. Come on, 2.0, you can do it. I've got faith in you. Did you hear that? Will, one point, I've got faith. Team. You've got six seconds left to do anything. Five, four, three, oh, two, <laughs> one. And I think it's safe to say that Rory has won that challenge. Rory, you had some good moves there. Um, and Will, 2.0, I think you probably need to hit the gym a bit more. And finally, our last sport of the show is futsal. It's like football, but indoor and less players. Let's take a look. Hi, I'm Jake. I play for DMU Futsal. I'm the first team captain for the uni. I play anchor, so in a, in a diamond we normally play, I'm the holding player that plays at the back, so more of like a defender if you transfer it to football. So the rules of futsal are very similar to football. You have to take kick-ins on the floor, uh, there's four seconds 
to um, every set play as well. The main difference between futsal and football is that um, the goals are significantly smaller. They're probably about uh, two metres high by about five foot wide. Uh, the ball is also smaller and heavier. It's 30% heavier. It's just a hell of a lot quick, quicker than football as well, yeah. Because it's a high-pressured game, you use the sole of your foot to create space between yourself and the defender. And in doing so, you, as you get separation from the, from the defender, you then have more of an opportunity to pass the ball, have a clear view of a shot. Also, setting up plays, movement off the ball is um, very, very important. Although it is important in football, it's also very important in futsal as well because it creates a lot more play on the court. I enjoy playing a bit of table football. Um, I'd say most definitely being able to, to pass the ball, not just shooting straight away, uh, being able to play through the different phases, trying to psych out your opponent. Uh, I think often one thing that I try and tend to use when playing table football is the one up the top with the three small, the small guys is just passing it between them all just to try and fake the goalkeeper out and try and score at the end of it. I would say um, don't be disheartened if you concede too many goals at one time. There's always a way to get to bring it back. Table football is a very quick game and as long as you keep your head then you should be all right. Good luck to you guys in the studio playing table football. So because Will 1.0 broke his leg we felt sorry for him leaving him out of all the challenges so Will 2.0 you can take a break because we've got a foosball table in just for you Will and so we've got Will versus Rory. How are you guys feeling? You guys ready for this? Yeah? This is good, let's go. Yeah, yeah let's sweet. Right well three Two, one, let's kick off. And so we've got we've got oh, Rory sorry. on the blues and we've got Will on the reds. Rory's scored already. That's one nil to Rory. That's not gonna put you in good stead for the rest of the game there, Will, is it? That's really not I'm good. One back, but it's okay. So just a reminder, we've got oh, Rory on the again. reds and Will on the blues. I've scored. Who scored? You scored. So that's one all. Yeah. One all to, to Will and Rory. Now we've got some good action going in there. They've really improved their skills just for this show. They're not doing any of the spinning tactics, getting full power behind the ball, but it looks like a close game so far. It's in Rory's quarter. That's go. another goal for Will, so that's 2-1 to Will. And we've got a little bit more left of the game. Oh, we've, oh, we've got some spinning. It's in, it's in Rory's goal. No, it's not. Oh, where's it going? We don't know where it's going. Oh, we've got, just a reminder, we've got Will on the blues, Rory on the reds. This is a close game so far. It's quite tight knit here. These, these guys are evenly matched. There we go. So is that 3-1 to Will? 3-1 to Will. Well done there, Will. Rory, you're really going to have to do something special to try and get back in the game here. Look, you could be throwing out the whole, the whole competition on this one. We don't know. We just don't know what the scores are so far. You've not got long left. Oh my, <laughs> oh no. 4-1 to Will. You're really going to have to pull something, off, something special off here, Rory. You've only got five seconds left of the game. Four, three, two, one. That's it. Stop the game. Stop the game. And I think that was 4-1 to no. Will there. What a crazy game. That wasn't close <laughs> at all. Rory, that's really not going to help you out with the uh, with the scoreboard. But unfortunately, that's all we have time for. And it's time to announce the winner. So if you all want to go over to our winning area, including you, Will 2.0, as you did most of the work, head over to the trophy area now. And now I can reveal that who has won the game. I can reveal that Rory has won this game. No way. I really didn't think Rory would have won this. How do you how do you feel, Rory? Have you got a victory speech lined up? I do. I'm absolutely over the moon. I'd like to thank my family, my friends, my pets. They're always there to support me and uh, this will look great on the mantelpiece. Your pets especially. Now, which one are your pets especially? Well, it's going to have to be the alpaca, Philip. The he's alpaca. always there. <laughs> he's a fluffy boy. You know, he's just... He's just ah. always in my corner. And Will, have you got a losing speech at all lined up? Or? Well, I feel like I've been robbed. I did an amazing game on the football, but there we go. It is what it is. Maybe 2.0 let me down. You'll have to do better next time. Yeah, I think maybe 2.0 let you down. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not too sure. But anyway, that's the end of the show. Thank you so much for watching. And a massive thank you to our two guests, Rory and Will, for coming on the show. And Will 2.0 for stepping in when Will broke his ankle. Um, so we hope you guys have had a great time on the show and we'll have to see you guys next week because that's all we've got so we'll see you next time on the kickoff show goodbye guys see you later